the P. Diddy situation just got worse. At least that's what Penguin Zero said 58 minutes ago. So we're gonna watch this, react to it, and hopefully I'll get this uploaded within a time frame where it's still freaking relevant. And then I'll get subscribers and I'll get views. And guess what? Then I can pay my water bill. Okay, let's watch. P. Diddy situation just got worse by Penguin Zero. Let's watch it in three, two, one now. That advertisement next. What is this? Why do gynecologists recommend this 100% leak proof underwear to my ma'am by Alp Fanny? With one end. I hate ads so much. Ads are disgusting, bro. But okay, let's watch this. So this article's crazy. Why do gynecologists recommend this 100% leak-proof underwear to my ma'am? Hey, to USA Today's credit, at least this isn't completely inundated with ads. There's only four here that I can see. Usually it's like seven or eight. Yep, so what Good came job. out last night in the P. Diddy case is a lawyer uh, uh, from the Busby Law Firm has come forward stating that he received thousands of calls over the last 10 days and they have verified 120 of the victims as legitimate victims, including- Verified? Wait, 120 victims? Including 25 who were minors. What was P. Diddy doing, dog? I don't know anything about P. Diddy. I can't even tell you what his songs are. Like, honestly, I can't tell you. I know he's popular. I know he makes music. I couldn't tell you what his songs are. I know he was hanging out with Justin Bieber when he was a minor a lot. 120 more claims, which apparently are verified, which who knows what that means, because you can't verify something based on hearsay, but including 25 who were minors. If these parties were anything like anybody says, there shouldn't be any minors at all in the party, because that's disgusting. So what, I'm super excited about this. Including 25 who were minors. So they have now filed a pending civil lawsuits for it. And he gave a little conference going over kind of like the gist of it. Here, this is a good like summation. Sex trap based lawyer Tony Busby made the revelation today. <laughs> Yo, this dude looks like a lawyer. Claims we intend to bring will include the following. Violent sexual assault or rape. Sexual abuse. Facilitated sex with a controlled substance false imprisonment, compelling prostitution, sexual misconduct, dissemination of video recordings, false imprisonment. So he's going through like an entire like platinum trophy list worth of allegations and crimes that Diddy is accused of doing with 120 new victims. So it's it's a lot, obviously. It's a it's a huge fucking he's screwed. chunk. He's screwed. Which I don't think anyone's surprised by, given the scope of Diddy and the Diddy parties and all of that. But now these are being filed. They are separate from the indictment, so this is different than what Diddy is currently in jail for. And he, the lawyer, is claiming that some of the names, like accomplices, people that engaged with it, people that knew about it and did nothing, are names that will shock people. Why, why, why did Nicolas Cage's son accusing him of hitting come up? Why, that's not, what? Investigators confirm- Nicolas Cage's son is in a black metal band and he trains with, uh, Jeet Kune Do style. Just saying. Confirm and corroborate what we've been told are names that will shock you. These are individual cases. There are indeed other perpetrators involved. They will be revealed when that particular individual case is ready to be filed. Okay. They already know who they are. And I'm talking here about not just the cowardly but complicit bystanders. That is, those people that we know. What is this countdown? This behavior occur. And oh my god. Really? Oh my god. Bro, I'm sorry, That's Penguin Zero. I hate using the internet with a, without an ad block on. Jesus Christ. Okay. <laughs> anyway, though, he goes on to say that it's more than just, like, the people that engaged and people that were, like, complicit and everything. And they have, like, evidence to back it up, this and that. And I can tell you, Kevin Hart is fucking sweating. He has been videoed at a Diddy party, and I bet right now he is panicking. <laughs> I'd be surprised if Kevin Hart was doing anything crazy like that, because I don't think he talks about anything like that. But, I mean, who knows? There's probably a lot of people that we'd be shocked about who's actually malicious. I think this P. Diddy thing's gonna be so big. It's not just one rapper going to jail. It's, oh, we had, like, 50 sex parties, and there were minors at every one, and there was 
sexual assault at every single one and there was a lot of celebrities at every one and it wasn't just Diddy doing the dirty so I think a lot of stuff's gonna come out man that dude's gonna try and book like a thousand rolls ASAP before it all comes crumbling down with Diddy here I bet but I was wondering what names would really shock me I just feel like everyone in Hollywood is just fundamentally evil save for some rare exceptions I don't think anyone that'll be named in this if they're confirmed to be like a Diddy associate that uh, like engaged with all of this degenerate, awful, illegal shit. I don't think there's any names there that would surprise me. Like maybe Bill Nye would surprise me, or, or like <laughs> Humphrey Bogart because he's dead. Like that would be crazy if Humphrey Bogart is in the middle of all this. But aside from that, like I don't know who else would really surprise me. Maybe like Wumpus from Discord that would be another one that'd be pretty shocking. It's a bot, right? Keanu. Oh, Keanu Reeves would be a very shocking one. But yeah. I'm so confident he wouldn't be involved here that it's not even a thought that crosses my mind. Like, he doesn't engage with any Hollywood zombies or anything, really. Yeah, and just because somebody went to the, uh, just because somebody went to the party doesn't mean they did anything bad either, right? You can't be guilty just for being in a place, either. Brendan Fraser. That's another person, though, that also just doesn't really engage with a lot of people in Hollywood. He was even ostracized from Hollywood for a little while. That's the so whale, I just right? don't think he'd be involved in it either. But those would those would be shocking. You were right. Yeah. Those were so shocking, my voice just cracked. Who would be your number one pick? Like, who do I think is for sure going to be involved in all of this if they ever release the, the Diddy list? I think obvious one, Kevin Hart. He's yeah. already been on video at a Diddy party. I think for sure sexual abuse of minors. Busby says the victims include both men and women, and he said- I like how he went to YouTube instead, because now he doesn't get all the ads. As some of them were minors. Our youngest victim at the time of the occurrence is, was nine years old. We have an individual who was 14 years old. Jesus We have Christ. one who was 15. 25 of the 120 individuals who are plaintiffs in these cases were minors at the time of the acts complained of. And he says there's evidence to prove it. You should know that more than 55% of the victims filed reports, reported this conduct to what? either the authorities, that is the police, or to hospitals. So these people didn't just jump on a bandwagon. A lot of them went to hospitals to get like tested after or something, and they reported with the police. I didn't, and I didn't hear any of this. I didn't hear about any of that, bro. Diddy is being held without... So, we're gonna see how this unfolds here, but he also mentioned in the conference they received 3,000 calls, and of the 3,000 calls, they verified, like they did their due diligence, according to him, verified 120 of them as like legitimate victims, and claims that they have a lot of evidence to support it, so it, it seems like there's quite a lot of weight to that. Like, it doesn't seem like just people trying to capitalize off Diddy for a payday. What it really seems like is now that this case has blown up, like the lid's been blown wide open, cat's out of the bag, everyone who has been a victim for so many decades is starting to come forward with their own accounts. Kind of like uh, the March of the Treants against Isengard. So now they're all coming out, they're all talking about what happened, and apparently a lot of it's being verified. So, could be a pretty big deal. It is a big deal. Do you think Bieber will talk? I think so. I think he Justin should. Bieber is another, like, big victim. They could make him go to court and talk. If somebody calls him as a witness, he has to go, and then he can't commit perjury. So a lot of these people might be forced to talk. In all of this, I, I think he'll probably come forward. I don't have a crystal ball or anything to predict it, but I just feel like Hollywood did Bieber so dirty like openly sexualizing him as a child and all of that. Like, I feel like he's probably going to speak about it. Why are people saying DiCaprio? I don't know, is DiCaprio a good friend of Diddy's? I, I, or is he like a victim? I, I don't I don't know about the DiCaprio connection to yeah, it all. He just dates younger people. I love right. this. Look at all these wonderful ads I get in my article. Ew. My article's somewhere in here, I'm sure. You just gotta find it. Reports suggest, including Diddy himself, Required IV drips. Yeah, yeah, this is all what we've known about it for a while. But what, where is Leah? No, I haven't known about that. Guests require IV drips to recover from the fatigue of sex and drugs. So they're taking drugs that make you dehydrated, which would suggest like Molly, like 
uh, what's the what is Molly? What's it considered? Um, ecstasy, right? Here we go. The last occasion they were photographed together was in 2019 when Leo, 49, attended Diddy's 50th birthday celebration. Oh, man. Man. That's crazy. I clicked this link expecting it to have the photograph. What it did is it just linked me back to the same article I was reading to try and farm more ads off of me. Yeah, you I make get me another fucking view. sick Irish star. That's hilarious. We'll see what comes from it. P. Diddy's lawyer hasn't spoke on it yet. He's still too busy fighting on the front lines about the baby oil stuff. So we'll have to wait to see what Mark says. Diddy's gonna... If I was him, like... 80% of whatever money I own, millions and millions of dollars, is going out to my legal team right now. I need a team of a team of lawyers, not just one dude. Like, this, this guy is gonna be screwed, and a lot of celebrities are gonna go down because of this. I'm sure Mark will dismiss it as just people, like, trying to pounce on Diddy for money. That's the angle I think he's going to try and claim. That's just my guess, based on everything I've seen from Mark, but we'll see. And you don't have to take a side. Like, I, I hardly ever take sides, to be fair. So, like, there might be someone who just wants money from this, but they said confirmed victims. I know Costco responded saying they don't even sell baby oil or whatever I saw. I, like, I, I don't think anyone's surprised. Mark was just fishing for any kind of logical reason. <laughs> like, he, he was doing his best. He is obligated to defend everything that he does and has ever done. Yeah. Like, even with that video of him beating the shit out of Cassie, Mark defends it as like, well, you need to kind of understand the context. She threw her phone at him. So, I mean, you know, like, you, you, you know, like, it's not good. It's not good to beat women, but um, <laughs> we need to remember, she, she threw her phone. So, like, it, it's Mark's job. Of course he's going to defend it. That's true. God, that LeBron meme has been around for so long, and for the first time it's actually, actually somewhat applicable with Diddy. How will it affect his legacy? If LeBron is somehow included in these uh, these claims, and it's like verified, it will actually fucking tarnish his legacy. Yeah, 100%. Actually, maybe not, maybe not. It would. I say that, but then I remember that basketball still celebrates Karl Malone, and he impregnated a 13-year-old. The guy is a rapist. <laughs> and then they still- I don't know who the hell that is. He'll celebrate him. So maybe it wouldn't, actually. Chat did basketball in their in their circle might celebrate Carl Malone, but someone like me who doesn't watch basketball, that's not one of the names that I recognize. Baba Vanga predict this. Oh, we need to check. Yeah, I didn't look at Baba Vanga's predictions to see if they lined up with this. She very well could have. Oh, a fake psychic. It'll. It, I really do. Again, I'll say it again. I really do think Diddy's not going to get Epstein. I think we'll eventually know the, the depths of the depravity, and I think we'll know a lot of the celebrities and associates that were engaged. Yeah. That's my prediction. I don't know who all is going to be implicated beyond like the obvious, like Kevin Hart and all that, but... He keeps saying Kevin Hart is obvious. All that we know is Kevin Hart went to one of the parties, right? I do really think for sure he's not going to get epstein We can only clear one person for certain. 50 Cent. <laughs> yeah. That's the only guy that's innocent. He's been shitting on Diddy for years. <laughs> yeah. Can you imagine, though, if he is actually named in this? That would be... Actually, that name would shock me. Yeah, because 50 Cent is literally coming out with a Netflix special about all the P. Diddy files and stuff, so that that would be shocking. That would be one of the few names that would actually shock me. Penguin Zero, Charlie, keeping us up to date on the stuff. Hey, guys, listen. I need to pay my water bill. If you subscribe, you will help me pay my water bill. And I'm a broke college kid now, so please help me pay my water bill by subscribing. Okay, bye. Bye now, bye. I love you guys.